Hi everybody, today we're going to have a look at iMotion HD. The first thing you'll notice about the app is that there's a help menu which is quite handy if you ever need to uh, find out a few more things about how the app works. We're now going to go and select new movie and then we're going to put our, the name of our movie in the little white box. And This is really important because there will be lots of other um, uh, movies on the iPad and you'll be able to know which one's yours. Then push the hand manual and then the start button. Once we've done that we're going to go to the tools tab and we're going to turn on the grid and the onion skin. Now we're ready to make our movie. So first thing we're going to do is uh, push the capture button to take our first photo. Once that happens then we need to move the props and this is where you need uh, probably a few people maybe assign one prop per person because often in your movies you're going to have more than, ob more than one object moving at once. You'll notice there that every time you move the object you leave the onion skin behind and the onion skin is used to have a record of where the object was previously. And that gives you, allows you to uh, track the movement of your object or your prop and it also means that if you bump something accidentally or bump the set you can uh, move it back into the correct location before you take the next capture or the next photo. Now it's a good idea also to have an idea of where your props are going so you might even like to practice that uh, without taking any images first and that means that uh, everybody knows where their prop is going to be going and the movie will flow very nicely. The other thing you will notice too is I'm only moving the props about half a centimetre each time. If you move it too far you get, your movie is going to be very uh, jerky and won't flow at all. So that's a basic look at iMotion HD. I hope you have lots of fun with it.